Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. In this video, I'll be talking about blockchain oracles. To do so, I want to first talk about one of my favorite movies of all time, The Matrix. In that movie, the lead character Neo goes to see the oracle, and when he walks in, he knocks over a vase. What's interesting about that scene is that after breaking the vase, the oracle says that what's really going to bake his noodle later on is wondering if he would have still broken the vase if the oracle hadn't said anything. As you learn about blockchain oracles and their role, you'll realize why that comment is so relevant. This lesson is taken from a course called Blockchain Advanced Level Uses Beyond Bitcoin. Enjoy. We will now talk about blockchain oracles. Let's define a blockchain oracle first. A blockchain oracle is an agent which seeks and verifies information and occurrences in the real world outside of the blockchain to be used by smart contracts. That is, a smart contract is an electronic piece of code and it has no way of verifying if the information that's being inserted into the smart contract is accurate. The role of the blockchain oracle is ensuring that that information is accurate and that it is provided as it is needed in a timely manner. To define this, let's talk about the three types of blockchain oracles. When we look at different blockchain oracles, the first type is hardware. And these are different triggers that are triggered by a sensor. It could be as a radio frequency ID sensor or an Internet of Things sensor or a barcode scanner, etc. What you are seeing here are actual blockchain tags that are being used. You can see actually how fish are actually tagged with QR codes. You can see how beef is individually added and they have an individual number for each one of the different uh, cattle. You can see how as the different packages are making their way through the supply chain, there's different barcode scanners along the way that capture this information. And that information is already being captured. The idea is that when you have a blockchain-based system, you're able to consolidate and bring all that information together from every single one of the stages. Different packages also can be tagged so you know exactly as these products are making their way through the supply chain and have full visibility as each product makes its way. Another type of blockchain oracle is software-based, and this is from information that's available online. What I mean by this is that there may be some data triggers that are brought about. For example, if there is a shortage of inventory in a specific warehouse, it may actually trigger an alert that will actually cause a bigger procurement order to create more product. So the idea is that these software data feeds already exist, but you're actually incorporating them into the blockchain-based supply chain. As you move forward, there's also human elements who verify and research these different events. They take care of quality control and they may possess special knowledge. The advantage of having a blockchain-based supply chain is that even these human elements actually gain a bigger level of trust. And that is because if a, an inspector actually certifies that a specific item is quality control and the quality assurance is correct, because that could only be provided by somebody with a, with a certain private key, it is sure that it was that person. That is, there is no room for fraud or margin where somebody could just take a paper form and forge a signature. The answer is whoever actually certifies that a specific item is valid and has the quality assurance of it was only caused by whoever has access to that private key. What you wind up having is that these blockchain oracles take care of verifying and checking for the quality assurance of the products as they make their way through the entire supply chain and issuing triggers that will trigger the next step and workflow to make the supply chain move forward. When the product finally makes it into the hands of the customer, because all this information has been captured securely and kept on a blockchain, the customer can have access to the entire history of the provenance of that product by simply scanning a barcode or a QR code. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.